So our third technique is redirecting. And this is when the person is stuck in the past and can't expand their mind map. And why do we get stuck in the past? It's comfortable. It feels good. It's warm and fuzzy. And remember, it's like the video game we talked about. You're fantastic where you are. And the video game levels up and that space in which it leveled up, you're not good anymore. You're bumping into walls. You're, you're going, well, if I'd known that was going to open up there, I would have built this here. Or, you know, the guy comes around the corner and bombs you and you lost, you know, you died. And, you know, so it's uncomfortable. So when that happens in life, we like to go back to comfortable. In a video game, you force yourself through it because you recognize it. So what if we helped everyone else force themselves through it? All right. This is great for change management. So this sounds something like it can't be done. Um, why do they always ask us to do things they know aren't gonna work? Um, why are we always changing how we do things? I don't understand that. Um, we've uh, never done it this way. I know it's gonna fail, right? So it's this like stuck in the past mindset because again, it's comfortable. Don't get mad at people for doing what they're humanly built to do. We're humanly built to stay comfortable, but since we're all fantastic leaders on this call, we know how to expand our own mind map and we know how to expand others. So if you hear something like this can't be done, you could say, well, what could be done? And if it could be done, what would be the first thing you would do? Just, you know, instead of saying, I don't care if you don't think it can be done, figure it out. We've all said that, I said it, you said it, we all know we have, but instead we need to say something like if it could, you know, let's just play that you could figure it out. What's the first thing you'd have to do? Again, it helps them get over that first little hump to get them going. Um, back to the story of I asked four times, right? No, you only have to ask once when you can hear limiting beliefs. Why do they always ask us to do things that will fail? All right. If it has to be done, um, you know, so it's, it's not a failure, you know. Um, so what if it changes everything, you know, always asking, you know, what if this is the one time it works? There's a million different ways you could address this one. Why are we always changing how we do things around here? Ugh, just when I figure it out, it changes again. I know I've said that before. Um, what, you know, how might this help us get ahead of the competition? I recognize we're a company that changes a lot, but there's power in that. And the power has been, look at our business. So if we make this additional change, again, how are we going to 2x our last year numbers? How are we going to see what's possible? How are we going to stay above the competition if we're not changing? Get people comfortable with how your business evolves. Um, we've never done it this way. I know it will fail. Again, going back to expanding mind maps, what could go right? And what would be the benefit of figuring this out? I love that question. What would be the benefit of figuring this out? I ask this question a lot to my coaching clients too, because if you start to see what's on the other side of hard work, the hard work is okay. But if you can't see what's on the other side of slogging through the mud and the hard work, why would you slog through it? I mean, ugh, right? So you gotta get people to see what's on the other side so the work in between doesn't feel so bad. Um, and so what would be the benefit of figuring this out? <laughs>